Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I'm the Franchise King. Today I'm going to talk about a food franchise, a huge brand, a brand that I know you have heard of. And one of the products that they offer, actually kind of their main product, um, that, to put it mildly, needs a little bit of help. Before I get into it, please click that subscribe, where's that click there? Click the subscribe button below this video so you can get notified immediately whenever I come up with a new idea and I put it on video. All right, so you can get notified immediately whenever I put something up here on YouTube on the Franchise King channel, my channel. Anyway, have you ever heard of Dunkin'? Which just rebranded because it was Dunkin' Donuts and I might have an idea why they rebranded. It actually has to do with the product. Uh, uh, there's some people in my family that love going to Dunkin' Donuts, especially my daughter. Um, she loves their iced coffee. So I went with her uh, a couple months ago to Dunkin' Donuts. I never really go there for coffee. I mean, it's a familiar place. It's a mile away from me. And I went with her and I sat in the drive through line, which I can't stand doing. I'd rather jump in the restaurant, jump out of my car, go in the restaurant, order at the counter. I just cannot stand waiting in line behind cars because who knows what they've ordered in front of me. You know, it could be a uh, double latte, coconut, chocolate, chip, whipped cream, hold the whipped cream on one side, kind of cappuccino, cold drink with ice kind of thing. And it takes forever. And I, I just don't have the patience, all right? So anyway, I went, I went there with my daughter. And uh, I decided to um, have a cup of coffee myself. It was pretty good. And I ordered a donut. Well, instead of having coffee with a donut, um, I should have been provided with a complimentary water. Because the second I chewed on that donut, wow. Um, I know that the, the people at uh, Duncan headquarters aren't going to be real happy with this. But the donut was sandpaper-like. It was dry. It, it tasted stale. Now, if you're going to have a donut as your main attraction, how about if you work on the recipe to make it like the best donut around? All right? Dunkin' Donuts, the, the donuts are not good. If you agree, let me know in the comment section. Or if you disagree, let me know in the, in the comment section. I mean, I thought the donut was, like, bad. And it really was so dry that I wanted, like, water immediately. And, and I was wondering why the heck I just paid for that product. So, attention, Dunkin' Don, uh, Dunkin' Donut, Dunkin', oh yeah, you're just called Dunkin' now. Oh, that's why. Maybe it's because the donuts aren't that good and they went with the Dunkin' name instead. Now, I don't mean to slam the brand, okay? Because I, I think it's a really good brand. I, I think it's getting better and there's a lot of people that own Dunkin' Donuts, multiple units. And, and they seem to do pretty well. But come on, folks. Recipe department. Attention, recipe department. Redo the donut recipe. Because the donuts are sandpaper-like. They're dry. They, they, they taste stale. And it's just not, just not a good thing. So that, that's my message for Duncan uh, the, the headquarters up in uh, the Boston area, okay? If you disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. If you agree with me about the taste of Dunkin' Donuts, let me know in the comments. Um, I, I just don't think they're real good. I, I, matter of fact, I think they're lousy. And that's a problem. But maybe that's why it's called Dunkin' now, and they're really going to start focusing on coffee and, and other things. But if you're going to be the donut place, have a great donut. My name is Joel Ababa. I'm the Franchise King. Thank you for watching this video. And really, let me know what you think. Appreciate it.